Hi everybody, Claude Diamond here with another gut sales tip. Um, I hold gurus, all my competition out there, God bless them, they're good people, but some of them, nah. I just had a recent experience with one who uh, made me a promise uh, for, a, to, for an appointment and couldn't keep it and couldn't have the decency to even apologize for it and had some of the most horrible employees I've had uh, the experience to encounter. I wanna talk about the three things that I think uh, gurus do wrong, the three biggest guru mistakes. And I think this might help you or protect you. First thing is, if they start to overpromise, you know, the one rule is under promise and over deliver. Most of them over promise. They promise a lot of things. They tell a lot of uh, stories about John and Mary here. All they, had to, all they had to do was drink my glass of Kool-Aid and they got rich overnight. When you start to hear that kind of stuff, your little warning bells, your little alarm system should be going off and you should say, okay, do what it says on that wonderful Missouri license plate, show me, okay? Show me how you did it, put me in touch with people, offer references, I say this all the time, ask me for my references, my clients are my best invisible sales force, um, you know, so ask, ask the questions that you're dying to ask uh, make them prove the promises that they make. Don't just go about what they promise, say at the end of their web page there and these written testimonials and things like that. Make them show you and go for it. Number two, are they living the life? Okay, and I don't mean standing in front of the jet or showing your fancy apartment overlooking the ocean or something like that. But my mentor Max used to say, success and failure always leave clues. Are they living the life that you want? Are they living a reasonably successful life? Do they live in nice areas? Are they the kind of people who have a lifestyle that you wish to emulate? I think that's important too. And number three, accountability. Now, this is the biggie. I saved this one for last. Accountability. If you're going to somebody, do they answer their own phone? Do they put their phone number? Watch this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, it, you know, you ever go to a web page and they have all this stuff and they just want to capture your email? No. Do they have a phone number where you could call somebody? And I don't mean somebody, I mean Mr. or Ms. Guru. Can you speak to them personally? Will they answer their own phone? That to me is the biggie. You know, you can't just talk to phone rooms, virtual assistants, integrator, aggregator, uh, uh, all these different fancy names they use. B bottom line is, if someone wants your hard-earned money, they should be willing to speak with you on the phone. They should give you good phone. They should be willing to answer your questions and go by your gut instincts. Notice how I segue guts into that. Um, go by your instincts. Are they, do you feel like they're answering your questions directly or are they changing the subject or the topic? Look for accountability. Do not give your money to somebody who won't speak to you personally. I don't care how big a big shot they think they are, how big their organization is. Don't do business with, don't do business with the minions. And I don't mean the cute little yellow guys from the minion movie. Um, I love minions. Accountability is a really big thing in my book. And ask the tough questions. Don't let them rush you over the phone before you part with your hard-earned money. And I don't care if it's a product package, if it's a guru program or whatever it is. Talk to, talk to the top dog because nobody deserves it more than you. Nobody deserves success more than you. And call me. I do answer my own phone. 970-281-5151. Be glad to answer your questions and help you make an important decision. Take care.